Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Um, I had recently had to fly around a bit and that got me thinking about airport security. You know that they x-ray all your hand luggage, uh, but they don't, they don't really search everyone who goes through. Just about every fourth person or so got searched. And uh, um, so of course you have to walk through a metal detector. This got me thinking, is this enough? Uh, isn't it possible to take dangerous weapons with you on a flight without a metal detector noticing it. Therefore I decided to do some tests. So I collected some weapons that are potentially dangerous but also can't be found by metal detectors. I'd like to start with this one here. It's a beautiful flint knife that Adlan made for me. I traded one of my slingshots with him. Very traditional antler horn, sinew, and uh, flintstone, very sharp edge. Next in line is a letter opener that I made from dogwood, hardwood. It's really only made for letters, but I want to test if it's really dangerous. Then there's a cold steel knife made from a plastic material that they call grivery. Looks frightening and is frightening. And that's a high-tech Kyocera ceramics knife. It's made from ceramic, ceramics. It looks like plastic, but it isn't. It's actually very sharp. And uh, it's made for vegetables, but I think it can probably slice a throat. We'll find out. And then, of course, we have a slingshot. In this case, it's a very compact slingshot. I made it about a year and a half ago. It's made from carbon fiber. It's very lightweight, and uh, but very strong. And I attached double theorem and gold to it in butterfly. And of course as ammo for the slingshot can't use steel balls or lead balls but we're going to use pebbles. The pebbles weigh about as much as a steel ball or a lead ball. They're just larger. And here is the enemy as always. Ballistic gelatin. We're going to test if the knives are dangerous and we're going to try to shoot a stone into it. Let's begin. So, let's try to slice the throat of this ballistic gelatin, you know, board member. So we use the flint knife and cut through it. It's a nice cut. Let's try to poke it. Not very well into the ballistic gelatin. So as a slicer, it's really sharp and very good. So next one is this letter opener made from dogwood. Let's try if we can slice. <coughs> yes, it works. It's a little bit harder, but it works. Let's stab it. <coughs> Doesn't go in very far, but it would certainly have drawn some blood. Next in line is the grivery. Now the grivery knife isn't very sharp, but it is kind of edged like a bread knife, serrated, I think is the right term. So let's see. Ooh, kind of dangerous. Let's try to stab. <coughs> For sure. Next in line is the Kiyochera ceramics knife. Okay. I'd say it goes through like through hot butter. Very very sharp knife. Unbelievable. So all these knives are potentially dangerous. Very dangerous. I think this is the best stabber and this is the best slicer. But even the flint knife here is a fairly dangerous weapon and it's absolutely invisible to the metal detector. Okay, so it's slingshot time. You see I put on a larger pouch. That is because rocks that are heavy enough are also a bit larger. And we're gonna try to shoot it into the ballistic gelatin. So the stone went in. Let's try one more. 
These cats have an instinct to be in the line of fire. Okay, it went in as well. Let's look at that in slow motion. So as you see, the small and more edgy rocks penetrated even deeper than the bigger, more round pebbles. So as you see, all these weapons caused severe harm to the ballistic gelatin block. What does this mean? Well, I think that airport security needs to be tightened. I think that body scanners are absolutely necessary. And I think that also it is necessary that everyone gets searched so that you cannot smuggle one of these weapons into an airplane. Well, that was it for today. Thanks and bye bye. Durch. Now the lead ball. Now the 25 millimeter steel ball. Twenty-five millimeter steel ball had a lot more penetration than the rocks. Why is that? I think it's just because the metal is so much more dense, so that the pressure per square millimeter is simply higher. So it penetrates far deeper than the stones. But still, the stones are pretty dangerous. Well, I don't want to be hit with one of these in the stomach. As a little bonus, I always wanted to test what happens when you hit a block of ballistic gelatin with a samurai sword. So let's test. Ah! Ah!